Hello guys, Nato Ace here, and this is going to be a follow-up on my Street Fighter V Arcade Edition thought. But basically, I want to talk about, interesting enough, silhouette re uh, revelation or reveals, that's what I'm trying to say. And for people who don't know what that means, is that for market within sometimes when you're doing either a new character or DLC character, sort of, and they believe this sort of a hype strategy, maybe might be working in the past, but not anymore, is... They'll say, hey, we got this a lot of this um, DLC character. Let's try DLC character. As an example, you know, we got, say, I'm just putting up there, uh, Dragon Ball Fighters will have eight characters and they're all silhouette. And then the silhouettes kind of like shows like some sort of like who the character is. Maybe yes, maybe no. And, but the problem with that one now, even in this time of ages, and not, not a lot of people, whether you're FGC, whether you're a competitive player, or to some extent a casual player, they don't like that and I agree with that also and the reason is yes a lot of times some market experts believe that that's something good because it helped hype the game like oh it's a surprise I want to be surprised you know you want to surprise your consumer that's true but the problem with that is one thing leaks Street Fighter 5 basically is a big victim for leaks uh, even with the base roster they were leaked, Laura was leaked, Dawson was leaked, and then the first DLC character for season one was leaked because data miner, data miner, I mean not miner, <laughs> miner, excuse me, basically dissected the code and there was an mp3 of the announcer saying the names of the DLC character, leak. And then second one is there was a leaker that basically, yeah, not hacker, I did apologize on that one, but leaker say oh these are these are gonna be the characters for season two and to some extent it was right some of them was by the corporate like in Ed's situation Sony accidentally leaked Ed and some of them was just by just really finding out the right code whether you know data from a game or a website oh there you go I mean heck Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom 3 they, they leaked out who the characters were so again you gotta see why silhouette characters in this type of age, it's not working. It might be working in the past, and the internet doesn't exist, but with the internet, a lot of these leakers with new technology, hey, you know, they do whatever it takes. So, I mean, for granted, sad it may be, uh, Smash Brother meal, uh, for the Wii U, the DLC character was leaked. An example was at E3 2015, I think, Roy and Ryu was leaked because of a data mine, and they showed an, a video of the Victor video on the Wii U version of Ryu and Roy for Fire Emblem. So again, there you go. So silhouette character doesn't work. That's what it was smart thinking what Ono did and what Capcom did. Just say from the get go, these are your six characters. Be hype about it. What's so good about it? So now you see, oh, I see those characters. So I noticed they're some different. Like I, I'll give an example. Two of them, Cody and G. First of all, Cody think. Wow, yeah, I saw the cinematic opening. So he's not a prison anymore. He doesn't wear a prison outfit. He has, he's, he's a clean cut, nice comb hair. He's wearing a suit. Why? That's something. And the point is, you can't sort of leak that because story is, you don't have to write the story in the game itself until later on. You can write it on the paper. So there you go. Character-wise, website, hey, you know, maybe, but you don't have to put that character's synopsis on the website until the release or, or the announcement of the character. There you go, but if, like a character leaks, then no. So, yeah, so I mean, now people are more hyped. The, I'm like, hey, I'm my example, I'm more hyped. So like, ah, so why is it Cody in a suit? What happened? And people said he might be the new Mario Metro City. Who knows? He got away until he's released. And now the one is G. The guy that looks like Abraham Lincoln or Uncle Sam putting in you say, Hey, buy my game, buy Street Fighter V. Why I want you to play Street Fighter V. Something like that. I mean, yeah, I said Abraham Lincoln, but I think the most more accurate is Uncle Sam. He's like an Uncle Sam. I don't know who knows. Again, what's the deal? What's the top hat? What's he called quote unquote president? It's, again, we'll just have to wait and see. So there you go. So I, at least it's a good move what Capcom did. That no more silhouette. I hope a lot of developers who are doing fighting games should do that. Like no more F, no more silhouette characters. 
just announce the character, there you go. And if it gets sneaky even with that, then I kind of feel for you, but at least for the DLC, at least for the season characters, the season pass, there you go. You know what you're getting, you know the characters. Now people say, yeah, maybe that $30 is worth getting because I like most of those characters. I like season two, most of the new characters, and some of them are like, meh. So yeah, that's my thoughts about silhouette characters, uh, thank, or silhouette reveals. Thank goodness that they didn't do it. It's gone. So with that, thanks for listening.